Greetings viewers and welcome to a video on what I believe to be an essential piece of loot in Borderlands 1.5. Essential for who? I'm going to go ahead and say everybody. This thing is insane, uh, but it's especially essential for you Athena players out there. Uh, this is a legendary Royd melee shield and it's called the Shooting Star and it is a one-stop shop for melee damage. I'm not exaggerating. You're going to be going from scratching at tough enemies to killing them in a single hit. Bosses are going to die in a matter of seconds. And if I'm perfectly honest, I'm expecting this to get nerfed in the first patch. But here's hoping it doesn't. Fingers crossed. Uh, the one I'm showing is at level 43, and it does an extra 50,000 Roy damage as standard. That's raw damage. That's before anything else has been added on. Uh, absolutely overpowered as hell. Here's what it's like in action. This first guy is without the Roy shield being added on. Hit him once, let him take a bit of damage, hit him again. This is on True Vault Hunter. Now the shield is popped, you're gonna find this guy, same enemy, and it's a one shot. Gonna run up here, find his friend for one shot. Last guy saw what happened and flies into the ceiling just to get away from this thing. So I'm gonna turn around. Next guy, surprise, surprise, one shot. And then this mech suit walks out. These things are a massive pain on True Vault Hunter. They got a lot of help, one shot. Zarpadon's mech suit. Yeah, gonna shoot it for a while, not doing much, not doing much. Two shot. Zarped on herself. I had trouble finding this clip in the video because this kill was so short. Um, the biggest mistake she's ever going to make in this fight is taking off my shield because straight away mm, she's dead. And that's a level. That's her at level 46 and me at level 44. So I'm not even the same level as her, and she's a pretty major boss. So yeah, definitely an essential piece of loot. How do you go about getting this? yourself you're gonna have to accept a mission which allows the enemy who drops it to spawn you accept this mission in the lunar launching station right next to the fast travel from the bounty board and it's called red then dead tacita will instruct you to kill three lost legion couriers each carrying echoes first one will be very nearby the mission start area uh kill him that's fine the game can save a matter of fact you should let it save because it is the second guy that you want. And if you're going to be farming this, uh, you're obviously not going to want to kill that first guy over and over again. So kill the first guy, let the game save. Uh, but it is the second guy that you want to go after. Uh, he's a little bit further on. Just follow the waypoint. And he spawns in this power suit with a really, really hefty shield on it. Uh, unless you're a higher level farming a lower level one or you've already got the shield and you're farming a better one, you're going to have to wait for the shield to come off. And it will come off after a short bit of dialogue. Once it does, uh, you can go ahead and kill him and then inspect the loot. Uh, but here's the awkward part. This is what makes farming the shield so annoying. Uh, this is a one-shot deal. Uh, once this enemy is dead, you cannot farm him. He's a mission-only enemy, which means if he has not dropped the shield, you need to back out of the game without letting it save. On Xbox, this means dashboarding straight from that enemy. Uh, on PlayStation, I'm not sure what it's called, but I th it's pretty much the same thing. It's just backing out to the PlayStation menu. Do not save and quit. On PC, uh, I think it's like Alt F4, just to close the game down completely. You cannot let it save the fact that you have killed that second courier, because once he is dead, uh, that's it. You cannot farm this item uh, anymore. This is a massive pain. This is what we had to do in Borderlands 2 to farm mission reward items, and it's very awkward to do for a legendary drop. Fortunately, the drop rate isn't anything crazy. It's not like the Infinity Pistol from Borderlands 2, which would never drop. Uh, this is a fairly standard drop rate for a legendary. Uh, it took me a couple of hours, but a lot of that time was because I just had to back out of the game and come back in constantly, which just adds a lot of time on. Uh, but I have heard of people getting it under 10 tries, a couple of people on their first try. Uh, the drop rate is not crazy for how good it is. Is it worth it? Yes, yes it is. Even if it's a few hours you're farming this thing for, uh, it is most definitely worth it. Even on True Vault Hunter, you're going to be one-shotting enemies all the way along. And it's caused me to properly rethink my skill tree if I'm going to be using Athena in conjunction with this shield. Some things to note, uh, if you are farming on your own, make sure to set your party status to invite only. If someone joins your game... Uh, the game automatically saves and if they decide to do this just after you've killed that second courier then they are going to have ruined your chances of ever getting the shield on that save and you will have probably lost a friend. Secondly, if it does drop, do not stand there looking at it stupidly like I did because his corpse does explode and it will kill you. 
Don't worry though, if you do have to respawn, it will still be there. Also, because you can only get it once on each save, uh, if you're on True Vault Hunter, make sure you get a decent level one. I get this one at level 43, uh, but if you want to wait till level 50 to get the best possible one, then do that. Uh, I'm fairly confident I'll be able to get one on a second character or on a or on a friend save, so I'm not too worried about it. I'll be able to get a level 51 at some point, but do keep that in mind. But that about wraps up this video. Uh, if you found it useful in any way, please leave a like. Otherwise, I will see you next video. Thanks very much for watching.